In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a near 43 point triple double that I got on my 7-2 build. Now, I was playing with randoms, none of my friends are here. These are full, uh, full these four other players are randoms, but my matchup for this game was actually 6-11, and he was pretty good, you know, especially in the first half, you know, it was a back and forth. You can see he's 6-11, stretch four, but you guys already know, you know, I love playing in the post. As soon as I see someone called a stretch four, not even a five, you guys already know I want the board. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to, you know, be as aggressive as possible. But, you know, we can't start off the game without showing what randoms are like in this game. Hopefully, Agent 3 gets a massive nerf for to get 24 so guys can actually start taking some smart jump shots. But anyways, y'all can see, look at the way I'm backing him down. Now, this normally doesn't happen on a lot of centers because my build doesn't have back down punisher. So the fact I was able to back him down tells me he doesn't have a lot of strength. And that makes sense. He's a stretch forward, you know what I'm saying? But right there, I tried to play help defense. And you guys already know he's a stretch. He's a sniper. He ain't missing. This was like a little back and forth. These small, so 6'11", 7 foot centers against taller builds, if they know what they're doing, they can be very, very nimble. They can be very, very annoying to guard because they're just much quicker than you are. So... As y'all can see, this stretch for he was going crazy. The first, the first half was pretty much his. I'll be honest, you know, I was trying to keep up with him in the first half, but he was going absolutely wild. As you guys can see right there, he even leaked out on the fast break, and he's gonna catch a nice little alley oop right there. I was thinking, bro, this is not a great style. I mean, bro, randoms. Again, you guys already know what time it is, bro. With these guys, it's time to backpack. But like I said, this guy has his little tricks up of his sleeve, which is so annoying. He's going to keep doing that a little between the leg as he's driving. Again, these are some of the stuff I'm hoping, you know, 2K patches for 2K24. Because guys do the same thing with the Russell Westbrook, you know, as to slide or whatever it's called. Where they kind of just move you and get you out of the way into the paint. But anyways, we came back with a three and we came back with a dunk. So you guys already know. I'm trying to you know, keep us in the game right here. Trying to keep us alive. I got the ball right here. Look, the double team. Little ISO. I'm like, yeah, thank you so much. You'll see that. I, all I need is just a little bit of space, bro. I'm, I'm so glad the randoms, for some reason, I did, I know they didn't do that on purpose. Gave me a little bit of space and I worked with it, but I don't, don't ask me what I was doing in the paint. Don't ask me what I was doing in the paint right there. I think I was trying to play some help defense. I don't know what it is, but you guys already know this stretch, but look, he was going crazy. He was going crazy. He got a little block right there. He, he ran the break. I'm trying to go to the corner to play help defense. The paint is wide open. It's the stretch, but you guys can see, he even has a little dunk on him. So I was thinking, bro, <laughs> I thought this was going to be an easy game. I thought this stretch is going to be baby, you know, light work. But clearly, you know, he came to play today. So, obviously, like I said, he's a stretch. I still need to, you know, once I realize he doesn't have any strength on him, I know he doesn't have post defense. So, that, that's like a correlation for a lot of players in this game. When, when they don't have strength, the interior defense isn't the best. Um, but you guys can see, look, he's, do, he's got this little nimble, crafty little move that he was doing. He even flopped to me. I was like, you know what? You're, you know, I, I, that flop, I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad. I was like, you know what? Fair enough. You're doing your thing. But, hey, ne next time, get back in defense. That's why you get back in defense and stop flopping. Because I got the rebound and we'll put it back in. But once again, look, I told you the first half was between me and him. I went for the reach right there. Thought I was gonna get it, but he does that little behind the back, a little squeeze. Oh, it was so annoying to be trying to guard this guy in the first half. But right, he reached right there. I took my time and he came back with a chase down block. I should have just gone with a quick drop. <laughs> I should have just gone over the quick drop before it gets patched. But hey, the build I was starting to think to myself, okay, this build is definitely not as weak as I thought it was. Obviously, his paint defense is still trash, but you can't blame him. He's a stretch forward. You know I'm trying to say, you're trying to see, look, it's the first half. And he actually won player the half. You guys can see both of us. I've got 17. He's got 21. And they were still winning the game. I was thinking, okay, you know what? I might have to go back to the drawing board here. Because, you know, this guy, even as a stretch forward, don't fall for the trick sometimes. You know, some of these bigs, that's how you guys, you know, fall to your demise. You'll be thinking because if someone's a stretch, you can just do whatever you want. Bear in mind, I am playing with random. So the spacing is never going to be the best when you're playing with them. But I'm trying to, you know, find some space right there. But like I said, because my build is so versatile, a lot of people see me take a lot of post hops. And that's the reason why I take a lot of post up against stronger centers is because they have a good interior defense. So a lot of times if you try to post spin a tall center, like an actual center, you're not going to get animation you want because they have very high interior. So it gives me a bit more flexibility. When I'm playing a weaker player like this stretch right here, I'm going to use a lot of my post, you know, post spins. I don't have drop stepper just because, you know, the drop step this year is a bit, uh, don't really like to fuck with it. But once again, look at this rebound. Oh my God. Oh my God. I literally just grabbed the board over like three of them. That rebounding takeover does, you know, it does be going crazy. I can't wait to spam that takeover on 24. But I'm about to be spamming the physicals and the rebounding takeover. Look right here. They, they gave me a late closeout. Late closeout, but once you know your jump shot, you can time it quite well, bro. If it's a late closeout, it's still a, it's still an open shot, bro. Y'all can see, I came back with my own block because he blocked me in the first quarter, and I was mad about that. So, that was my revenge. But y'all can see, look, 
and he's doing this little weird move in the paint is so annoying like the, the last person that played like this was some guy called Fear of God he has a very similar play style where they kind of just run around in the paint but right here they slept and left me wide open I don't know what they were doing y'all better y'all better figure out where I am bro y'all better figure out where I am and a lot of people always ask me why I don't use the post takeover or the sharp takeover is because I can get away with those moves without necessarily having the, the badge I'm trying to say I don't need post takeover to be able to play well in the post so i'd rather just have the rebounding because that helps you a lot more than everything else but once again you'll see the random going up with you know what he thinks is a steph curry jump shot uh, and again we got the rebound he's a stretch I, I should have the advantage over there and once again he was sleeping right here back door cut the random saw me and we were great we we're going crazy so right here i was thinking yeah i got you now I got you now. So he wasn't having the best second half to the game. But the first half was definitely very competitive between him, me and him. But y'all can see he's still doing his thing, bro. He's still doing it. This was a, I love when I play other centers that are very aggressive. You know, I hate playing. There's nothing more boring than playing a center. I just keep passing the ball. But once again, I, I came back, bro. This back and forth the entire game. But you guys already know, I'm not planning to lose this door, bro. Like, as soon as I went into the post right here, straight double team, bro. <laughs> straight double team. The space of the randoms is amazing. Um, but hey, I'm expecting that when you drop 39 points and 15 rebounds, you, you know they're going to start double teaming you off the rip, bro. But right here, that was our 40 points. For some reason, that the stats actually glitched towards the end of the game. You guys will see, it actually says it's going to show me with 39 points. Even though I'm going to finish with 43 points. So you guys are going to see right here again. Went right. I faked him out with a post hop. Mm, that's my. That's one of my favorite moves. It's a very underrated move. And that's a 7-2 player right there with that. That looks very quick. And that's because I think quick first step and silver definitely help, help, so helped you out. Kind of speed boosting out of it. But that is pretty much it. Y'all can see 43 points, 15 rebounds. I mean, I'm not expecting any less if I'm playing against a stretch. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you bigs out there, when you play against a stretch, that's probably one of your favorite games to play because you can just bully them. You can do whatever you want. But he ended up having 27 points. So, you know, he didn't do too bad himself. Um, I like the little sort of paint stuff he was doing. It was very jarring. I did figure it out in the second half, which is the reason why he wasn't scoring as much as he was um, in the first. But you guys can see, so it's actually had 39 points. I don't know how, why that stat is always glitched on this game. It's so weird to me. But yeah, man, we had him leveling up on that game. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to 2K24 so much. Like, literally, it's just a couple of weeks now. I'm just kind of fiddling my thumb, just waiting, waiting, and waiting because I can't wait to get my hands on that builder. I'm trying to make some of, one of, some of the best center builds for for you guys. Um, you know, especially the fact that they, they mentioned the post is going to be a viable option. I mean, I already utilize it this year, so it doesn't really matter to me. I'm only, <laughs> It only means I'm going to be more overpowered next year when the post moves are actually back back, you know what I'm trying to say? I can actually use a lot more moves. Like I said, the drop step is one of those moves I don't really use too much this year because, you know, pogo stick and everything else, they're going to get that stuff sweated out. So it's not the most viable move to use unless it's a mismatch, then obviously you can use it. But anyways, man, that was a fun game for me. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm, I can't wait for 24, like I said. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video.